Hello, all my fit friends. Welcome back to Wild Body Now. I'm so glad you're here with me. I have my two nephews and my niece here. So if you hear lots of noise in the background, that's what it is. But no excuses. We're going to get this really quick but awesome leg workout done. So give me some air squats. We're going to start warming up. You're going to give me 20 of these. So 17 more. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to do leg kick out jacks to get our hips more warmed up. There you go, and the outside of your glutes. Nice. Beautiful. Give me 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Toe touches. Hinge at your hips, abs and shoulders back. Reach for your toes. Come up. 2, 3, Four, good job. Five, six, seven, eight. Now for the last 10, we're gonna come up on our toes at the top. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Jog in place. So you see, I have a resistance band with handles, a set of dumbbells, and one heavy kettlebell. We're gonna do a little super set or tri set with each piece of equipment a couple times through, all targeting the lower body. Beautiful. Just a little bit more jogging, then we're all done with our warm up. And we're going to start with the resistance band. Nice. Okay. So, for our first exercise, you're going to have your feet about hip width apart, you're going to crisscross the band and you're gonna pull the handles up to your shoulders here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna give a squat, step, there you go, step the other way. This is three, four, five, six, chest up, drop the booty, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, good job, 17, 18, 19, 20, beautiful. So you're gonna take if you have a heavier band, you want to give yourself more slack on the end. So have your foot anchor it closer towards the handle. If you have a lighter weight or a skinnier weight, you might not need to do that. Because you're going to take it overhead. And we're going to do an overhead split squat. And you want it, you want to feel the tension at the top there. Ooh, I think I need a little bit more tension. <coughs> Little, I, hey, I guess I'm stronger than I thought. That's nice. <laughs> there we go. Give me a split squat. Hold it right overhead. Palm facing out. Chest up. Abs in. For one, two, three, four, five. Straight down and up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Same thing, other side. <clears throat> Get it up overhead. Give me that split squat stance. Abs in, shoulders back, arm extended for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Quick little breather. Sip some water if you need to. Just a couple deep breaths, and we're getting back in to our first exercise. So we're stepping in. A couple deep breaths. Let's get right to it. Bring those handles towards your shoulders. We're going to start stepping to the right first, but give me a squat. Squat, step. That's one. Squat, step. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You got it. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, keep your chest up, abs in. Which way are we going? 16, <laughs> 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's do your split squat. I'm gonna start with my right arm going up first this time. Giving myself a little bit more tension to make it more challenging. Make sure your feet don't go one behind the other. Keep this foot out to the side to help you with balance. Are you ready? 20, 19, don't bang your knee at the bottom. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, you got it. Three, come on, abs in. Two, one. Get set up. Same thing on the other side. Okay, bring it up. Give me that step. All right, 20 of them. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, stay up really tall and straight. Chest up, 12, 11, belly button in, 10, push through your heel, nine, eight, stay balanced, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Couple deep breaths, sip your water. It's not a huge break. We're not going very heavy. We're doing higher reps, working more muscular endurance today, but still getting an awesome resistance training workout for our lower body, working the quads, working the hamstrings, the glutes, the calves, some inner thighs, the hips. It's awesome. We're doing it all today. All right. Last set of these get set up feet shoulder width apart. Crisscross your bands. Pull those handles up to the outside of your shoulders. We're gonna start stepping to the left first this time after our first squat. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that belly button in. Six, chest up as you drop your hips. Eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, did I get off? 13, I think I did, sorry. 14, just keep going, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo, right into it. Give me that split, squat. Woo, let's go. One, two, three, keep a good challenging pace. Four, get good depth. Five, don't bang your knee. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Same thing, other side. We're almost done with this resistance band. A third of the way done with the workout here. Come on. Let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, whew, 6, 5, 4, 3, Ooh, do you feel your quads? Last one. Awesome work. You can get your resistance band out of the way. Deep breathing. Walk around in your spot. Kind of catch your breath. We're going to use the kettlebell next. It's going to be awesome. All right. Give me one last, one last nice deep breath. Grab your kettlebell. And we are gonna do some goblet squats. So, you're gonna hold it like your goblet. Chest back, shoulders back, chest up, shoulders back. Feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, toes turned out, do you see that? Try to get your elbows into your knees. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, going to fifteen, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Take it, get ready for swings. Right there, shoulders back, abs in, hips hinge. Let's go for 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. <laughs> 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put it down. Take a break. Did you have the cart? Okay, I'm going to start my recording again, okay? So try not to interrupt. All right, everybody, let's do those 15 goblet squats again. Shoulders back, abs in, feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, toes turned out, elbows in close for 15, 14, take your time, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, oh my goodness, 
One, get ready for that kettlebell swing. So, <clears throat> with the kettlebell swing, hip hinge, push them forward. Bend at the hips, squeeze your butt, push your hips forward strongly. All the while staying nice and tight through your abs. <coughs> Excuse me. Shoulders back away from your ears. Let's go. 30, 29, 28. 12, 11, 3, 2, 1, that gets your heart rate up, okay, a couple deep breaths, this is challenging, I know, I'm not giving you a lot of rest, we're doing supersets, then not a lot of rest in between your superset. That's all right. Take a couple deep breaths with me. No matter what, I want good form. If you, if you've, especially with the goblet squats, if you feel yourself rounding your back or falling forward, put the weight down. Just do body weight or go lighter weight, okay? Or slow it down. Or use your couch and just sit on your couch. You don't have to go as deep, right? There's always options. The only option is to not give up. That's the only option you don't have. No giving up. All right. Last set here. Goblet squats. Let's go. Shoulders back, chest up, abs in. 14, 13. Drop the butt straight down. 11, 10. You got it. 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, oh, slowing down but not stopping. Three, two, one. Nice work. Getting ready for those kettlebell swings. I'm gonna face you actually. Let's go. One, two. Four, three, two, one. You can set the kettlebell aside out of the way. Walk around. Catch your breath. You're doing amazing. We just have our last little bit with our dumbbells next. Deep breaths. It's the perfect time to be sipping your water. If anything feels a little tight or like it needs a stretch, you can stretch it. We're gonna do Romanian deadlifts with our kettlebells, make them as heavy as you can get them, okay? And just like the hip hinge movement with the kettlebell swing, Romanian deadlifts are also a hip hinge movement. You go down, hinging from the hips, knees slightly bent, and then you come up strong, pushing your hips forward. Okay? Let's go. We're just gonna do 12 of these. I'm gonna show you from this side here. Shoulders back, abs in, feet, hip width apart, toes facing forward. Down, nice and slow and controlled and up. 11, keep your shoulders back. 10, chest up. Nine. Eight. Seven. 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. My forearms are feeling it. Do your forearms feel it from holding on to the kettlebell and now the weight? Okay, so you just need one weight. We're gonna do side lunges. We're gonna go stepping out with the right leg first. Try to get the weight as close to the floor as you can. All right? Chest up, flat back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, whoo, 10, whew, 11, 12. Switch hands, same thing. Other side, shoulders back, abs in. Again, you're hinging from the hips here, but keep your chest open. Don't round through your back and close off through there. Keep those shoulders back. Okay, here we go. 12, 11, sit your hips back, sit down low. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, grab the other weight. Hold them right there at your shoulders. We're just gonna do some calf raises and we're gonna have our toes turned out towards the corner of the rooms, of the room. <laughs> Ready, let's go. One, two, just come up to the balls of your feet, squeeze your calves. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Put those weights down. Holy, walk around in your spot. I'm gonna let my cat out the door. There you go. I want you all walk around in your spot, shaking it out. Nice deep breaths. One set of those down. Two more to go. We're gonna start with those Romanian deadlifts. I feel ready, let's go. Pick up those weights, shoulders back, abs in, toes facing forward, just 12 of them. 12, nice and slow on the way down. Push through your heels, heels. <laughs> 10, keep those abs in. Nine. Eight. Seven. You got this. Six. Five. Four. Three. Oh, two, you got it. One. Okay, we're gonna start going to the left first this time. Okay, here we go. 12, 11. 10, belly button in, nine, eight, seven, six, five, it's my forearm, three, oh, my grip strength, two, it's wavering, one, okay, okay, same thing, other side, let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One, beautiful. Grab the other weight for our calf raises. Oh. Toes turn out toward the corner of the room. Give me 20 of them. There you go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze those calves. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Put them all the way down. Walk around, sip your water. Nice deep breaths. You're doing awesome. We just have one more set of those. Then we're gonna do a quick cool down and stretch. I'm so proud of you. Hang in there. I'm gonna stretch my forearms some. Oh, wee. Just a couple more nice deep breaths. All right. Last set, Romanian deadlifts. Just give me 12, shoulders back, abs in, toes facing forward, nice and slow, stretch on the way down, strong up for 12. 11, hips back, squeeze the hips forward. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna put both of them down. I'm gonna give a little shake out. All right, grab one of the weights. Let's go, side lunges. Here we go for 12, 11, 10, nine, Eight, abs in, back flat, hips back. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, same thing. Other side, let's go. Twelve, eleven, ten. Nine, eight, come on guys. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last set of calf raises. Okay, bring up to the shoulders. Toes out towards the corner of the room. Knees are soft, okay? Don't totally lock them out. Two, three, four, five, six. You're almost there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, we did it. Good job, put them down, walk around. Couple deep breaths. Okay, find the back of your couch or a piece of wall. Take one leg, bring the heel back towards your butt. If you don't have knee issues, and as long as you keep knees close together and this knee pointing down, you can grab the foot, push your hips forward to increase the stretch there in your quads. There you go. Good job, good job. Take that same leg, hug it in, round your back, right? Kind of like you're doing a standing cat stretch. It looks like bad posture, right? <laughs> you can rotate your ankle, but we just want to stretch out the lower back, the glutes, and going into the hamstrings. Oh, 
We're gonna do the same thing, other side. Knee next to knee, the bent knee is pointing straight down, then push your hips forward to increase the stretch to open up your hip flexors, your quads, the top of your thigh there. So what did you think of the workout? I liked it. It's fun to use a variety of different equipment, and all of that equipment, for real guys, I feel like it's kind of essential for a home workout. A good, heavy dum a good set of dumbbells, hopefully you have like light, medium, heavy, and then a kettlebell or two, and then resistance bands. You can do so much at home with those three pieces of equipment. Okay, take that knee, hug it in, give me that bad posture around the back, pulling your chest towards your knee, pulling your knee up, really round your back and feel it go down into your lower back, glutes, and hamstring there. You can rotate your ankle. Beautiful, okay. Press into your wall or the back of your couch, whatever you're using. One foot up, other foot back. Drive your heel down and then push your hips forward to stretch those calves. So really driving the heel down and the hips forward at the same time will really elongate it. You're gonna feel it. Same thing, other side. Heel down, hips forward, lean into the wall. Doesn't that feel good? Oh, just keep breathing. All right, a little hip stretch. Cross your right leg over your left. Push your hips out to the left. Oh, and then you can reach over. Feel it go from your armpit all the way down through into your hip, down your IT band towards your knee. Oh, that feels so good. Same thing, other side. Cross left leg over your right leg. Hips go out to the right. And if you feel ready, you can extend the arm up and really lean. Hips going one way, fingertips going the other. Beautiful. Stand up. Give me one nice deep inhale. And exhale. And you made it. Thank you so much for doing this lower body workout with me. Until we meet again right here next week, I want you to have a fabulous week and I want you checking in on Instagram where we can interact there more daily. I have more workouts just little lifestyle photos and like sometimes I share what I eat and all that good stuff. So it's just a way for us to stay motivated and connected there. And so as always, until we meet on Instagram or right here on Facebook, not Facebook, on YouTube again, I want you to always remember no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye everyone.